The coinage metals comprise, at a minimum, those metallic chemical elements which have historically been used as components in alloys used to mint coins. The term is not perfectly defined, however, since a number of metals have been used to make demonstration coins, which have never been used to make monetized coins for any nation state, but could be. Some of these elements would make excellent coins in theory, for example, zirconium, but their status as coin metals is not clear. In general, because of problems caused when coin metals are intrinsically valuable as commodities, there has been a trend in the 21st century toward use of coinage metals of only the least exotic and expensive types. History Historically, most coinage metals or alloys are from the three non-radioactive members of group 11 of the periodic table, copper, silver and gold, the copper usually being augmented with tin and often other metals to form bronze. Gold, silver and bronze or copper were the coinage metals of the ancient world, and most medieval coins. All Western histories of coins begin invention at some time slightly before or after 700 BC, in Aegina Island, or, according to others, in Ephesus, Lydia, 650 BC. Ancient India in circa 6th century BC, was one of the earliest issuers of coins in the world, since that time, coins have been the most universal embodiment of money. These first coins were made of electrum, a naturally occurring pale yellow mixture of gold and silver that was further alloyed with silver and copper. However, the Persian derrick was the first gold coin which, along with a similar silver coin, the siglos, from ancient Greek siglos, Hebrew sekel shekel, represented the bimetallic monetary standard of the Achaemenid Persian Empire which has continued till today. Also, the Persian coins were very well known in the Persian and Sassanids era. Most notably, in Susa and in Cte Siphon. However, there are many more, even for coins made from intrinsically precious metals. Precious metals are always used in bullion coins and some collectible coins. Coins not intended for circulation or for intrinsic value have also been made experimentally using an even larger variety of metals, since they function as fiat money. In general coins intended for circulation must have metal values considerably less than their face values, for reasons discussed below. Requirements for a coinage metal Coins that are intended for circulation have some special requirements based on the conditions they will encounter. For example, a coin may be in circulation for up to 30 years, and so must have excellent wear resistance and anti-corrosion properties. Achieving this goal necessitates the use of base metal alloys. Some metals like manganese have occasionally been used in coins, but suffer from making the coins too hard to take an impression well, or metals apt to wear out stamping machines at the mint. When minting coins, especially low denomination coins, there is a risk that the value of metal within a coin is greater than the face value. This leads to the possibility of smelters taking coins and melting them down for the scrap value of the metal. Pre-1992 British pennies were made of 97% copper, but as of 2008, based on the price of copper, the value of a penny from this period is 1.5 new pence. Modern British pennies are now made of copper-plated steel. For similar reasons, American pennies cents were once made of copper alloys, but since 1982 have been made of copper-plated zinc. This problem has led to nearly the end of use for a common base metal alloy for everyday coinage in the 20th century, called cupronickel, with varying proportions of copper and nickel, most commonly 75% Cu 25% Ni. Cupronickel has a silver color, is hard-wearing and has excellent striking properties, essential for the design of the coin to be pressed accurately and quickly during manufacture. In the 21st century with the prices of both copper and nickel rising, it has become more common to experiment with various alloys of steel, often stainless steel. For example, in India some coins have been made from a stainless steel that contains 82% iron, 18% chromium, and many other countries that have minted coins that contain metals now worth nearly the coin face value, are experimenting with various steel alloys. Chemical elements used in circulating coins Aluminium first issued 1907 for circulation by East Africa and Uganda protectorates, though earlier patterns exist Antimony used in Guzhou, China 10 cents coin of 1931. Used in medallion metal alloy carbon in all steel and iron coins. A few pressed galvanic coal. 
Notgeld coins were minted in the hyperinflation in post-WWI Germany chromium used for plating coins and in some rare hard stainless steel coins copper gold iron lead manganese some Minnesota used in U.S. wartime silver nickels and the new U.S. dollar coin for similar reasons, attempts to match magnetic and electrical properties of previous nickels, and previous Susan B. Anthony dollars, for vending machines magnesium magnesium aluminum coins were issued in 1943 for the Lodes ghetto in Poland, and are used in India nickel used in alloys since antiquity. The first pure nickel coin was the Swiss 20 Rappen of 1881, platinum Russia 3, 6, and 12 ruble coins of Nicholas I issued 1828-1845 silver tin zinc non-circulating chemical elements used in non-circulating commemorative, demo or novelty coins, metals, patterns, and trial strikes, cadmium 1828 metal made by G. Luz for the marriage of Heinrich von Decken, of Silesian cadmium cobalt 2005 Cameroon 750 CFA Franks struck in cobalt plated iron, hafnium, Fred Zinken demo coin, iridium, 2013 1 of an ounce 10 franc bullion coin issued by Rwanda as part of Noble 5 precious metals set, molybdenum, demo coin, Fred Zinken, mintage 250 to 1 TR Oz coins 2008 by coins by design, Murray Buckner, niobium, Austria has issued a number of bimetallic 25 euro coins with a niobium center, palladium, first issued 1966 by Sierra Leone. Also presentation sets from Tonga, bullion coins of various countries, rhenium Fred Zinken fantasy pieces, Pope Matthew triple ducat and Malvinas V Astralis rhodium 2014 1 25th of an ounce 10 franc bullion coin issued by Rwanda as part of Noble 6 precious metals set. Also Cohen Mint Bullion Round, Ruthenium 1967 one half How from Tonga was 98% Palladium and 2% Ruthenium Selenium 1862 Medal in UK Science Museum, commemorating Berzelius, discoverer of the element, Silicon privately struck US quarter patterns dated 1964, Pollock 5380 in nickel-silicon alloy, Tantalum used in a bimetallic silver tantalum coin from Kazakhstan, Tellurium 1896 Hungarian mining medal. Reproductions exist from 1975, titanium first issued 1999 by Gibraltar. Austria has made bimetallic silver, titanium commemoratives, tungsten alloys are too hard. A few private demos struck only for experimentation. Fred Zinken U.S. Half Eagle Patterns, Uranium Two types of a German metal of native uranium, Vanadium Mintage 20 to 1 Troy Ounce Coins 2011 by Coins by Design, Murray Buckner, Zirconium Mintage 500 to 1 Troy Ounce Coins 2012 including 50 Black and 50 Rainbow by Coins by Design, Murray Buckner. Element Series Beginning in 2006, Dave Hamrick Metallium has been attempting to strike coins, technically tokens or metals, about the size of a U.S. cent of every primordial chemical element hydrogen through bismuth, excluding the radioactive technetium and promethium, but including the long-lived thorium and uranium. To date he has struck tokens of the following elements Aluminium Antimony Barium reactive, sealed in glass capsule Beryllium Bismuth Boron mixed with binder, sealed in resin cast Cadmium Calcium reactive, sealed in glass capsule Carbon mixed with binder, sealed in resin cast Cerium reactive, sealed in glass capsule Chromium Cobalt Copper Dysprosium Erbium Europium Reactive, sealed in glass capsule Gadolinium Gallium Gold Hafnium Holmium Indium Iridium Iron Lanthanum reactive, sealed in glass capsule Lead Lutetium Magnesium Mercury sealed in resin cast Molybdenum 
Neodymium reactive, sealed in glass capsule. Nickel. Niobium. Palladium. Phosphorus mixed with binder, sealed in resin cast. Platinum. Praseodymium reactive, sealed in glass capsule. Rhodium. Ruthenium. Samarium reactive, sealed in glass capsule. Scandium. Selenium. Silver. Strontium reactive, sealed in glass capsule. Sulfur. Tantalum. Tellurium mixed with binder, sealed in resin cast. Terbium. Thallium extremely poisonous. Lead token clad on one side with thallium foil and sealed in resin. Thulium. Tin. Titanium. Uranium not offered for sale. Vanadium. Aterbium. Yttrium. Zinc. Zirconium. Article. World's coinage uses 24 chemical elements. World Coin News magazine published an article titled, World's coinage uses 24 chemical elements, by Jay and Marielli, which appeared in two consecutive issues, February 17, 1992, pages 24 to 25, and March 2, 1992, pages 18 to 19. The article was based on an award-winning exhibit that was assembled by J. and Marielle Rowe a.k.a. Dr. John Westall Rowe, an organic chemist in Wisconsin, and his wife Marielle Rowe, and shown during the 1987–1990 period. The 24 elements named are, Al, Sb, C, Co, Cu, O, Hf, Fe, Pb, Mg, Mo, Ni, Nb, Pd, Pt, Re, Ag, Ta, Sn, T, W, V, Zn and Zr. The ANA did not award Best of Show, because the exhibit was downgraded for incompleteness, due to two missing pieces. However, the author defended his choices, the British Royal Mint. S rhodium token is only rhodium plated, and the Pubjoy mint. S iridium coin does not exist. Possible confusion with palladium. Curiously, chromium and manganese were not mentioned, even though both elements had been used in common circulation coins, Canada wartime V nickels and U.S. wartime Jefferson nickels, respectively, long before the time of the article's publication. Non-metallic materials used for circulating coins. References External links Comprehensive list of metals and their alloys which have been used at various times, in coins for all types of purposes. In French, site of coinage metals and alloys.